Alright, how's it going guys? Today I will be doing a one year review slash recap I guess of owning this beautiful beast. So, um, a bit of a disclaimer before I get into it, I'm nowhere near done with this movie. As I said, I've owned this rig for a year now. I picked it up on the 13th of January, 2021. Um, so a bit over a year. When I picked it up, it was stock as a rock. Still had stock wheels on it, had all terrains. But other than that, it was literally the canopy, bull bar, and um, rear bar. Since then, it's gone through a bit of a change. First thing I did was new wheels and tires. So I put 16 inch rims on it with 31 inch tyres, all terrains, just got them from Bob Jane, costed me a grand fitted. After that was these drawers, these drawers were 500 bucks, oh just under 500, from 4 Drive Supercenter, they're the Titan brand, Kings, done the trip obviously, be a good mate, I think Ranger wants to be in the video, come Ranger. Ready? Fruits. <coughs> Alright, there we go. Now we get the dog in. Hey, buddy. We'll come into the front here. Because this was where all the next ones, all the next mods came. So, first thing I did was wheels and tyres. <coughs> obviously, the biggest thing. Then the drawers, and then did this head unit here. So that was another 500 bucks for, I think it was 550 for the fascia and everything. Um, also did this King's Heads Up display, which I got for Christmas. So I can't really count that. And the EDS as well, also got for Christmas. Roof rack squaddies and light bar were next, but I didn't actually put the roof rack and light bar on until a fair bit after. So all of it was about 300 altogether. Got it all from mate's dad. Um, the roof rack I actually had to get myself, but the basket was from my mate's dad. Next was the catch can right in here, um, which actually happened to be one of my first YouTube videos. Putting that one out, it would cost me around about 100 bucks ish. Um, one of the first videos doing the clean out there, which takes me back a long time, and it was not a great video. Um, but, oh well. Can only go there, I guess. Next was the roof rack. So, took a bit to get all the parts for this and figure it out because I honestly had no clue how to mount these. Um, needed to get the hooks that hook under the roof, but I didn't know that. Anyway, eventually figured it out. Got the um, roof rack and then got the roof basket on top with a couple of like, U plants. Are they called U plants? I don't even know. Installed with Lachlan and yeah, I think we did a decent job. They haven't come off yet, so. Next was the shocks. So, installed with Dad. Um, got these ones for, I think, 200 for the pair ish, something like that. I have to look back and I'll check it back on, on the screen. Um, just raw brand from Super Cheap. Got Lachlan's discount, so I got it a bit cheaper. But, yeah. They're going pretty hard, um, never had a problem with them and yeah definitely stiffened up the front a bit more because it was way too loose to start with. Um, so yeah another one of my first videos, one that's actually done pretty well over time. Um, I think it's up around 2k views now. Snorkel next, just from Tough Terrain, the Outback Australia brand, um, costing me just over a hundred bucks, like 110 or something, and it was one of the first installs that I did properly by myself. For me, for a beginner, it was actually fairly complex, I was pretty proud of myself for doing that by myself. Um, it's been great, in the time that I had it, I still haven't done this top bracket, honestly just haven't got around to it, but it doesn't really hit that much, so I'm not too fast. 
Um, sounds really good. You can hear air pulling through there and it gives a bit of a suckage noise and I don't know, just make it sound a lot nicer. So after that, did the underbody respray, which has held up really good over the time and um, yeah, really happy that I did it because the underbody looks pretty mint now. Next, I will head up the top light bar and also um, did the UHF. So I want to group these together because they're all wiring that I did myself, which I was very happy with. They gave me the confidence to do everything else. Let this be a sign if anyone's trying to debate whether to do things on their car themselves, do it. Because if you stuff it up, oh well. But at least you're learning while you're doing it. So you're always going to learn from something that you do on your car, whether it's as simple as like painting the bull bar or something, to doing a full um, 12 volt setup, you're always going to learn from it. So it got it for 270 with Lockland's discounts. So I think they retail for about 350 or something like that. Something up around there. So after the two DI trip videos, um, great trip, first time on the beach, and honestly, I was quite scared to start with, but then after I got used to it, it was great, and um, yeah, great learning experience for me for driving. Um, even though it's only on the beach, it's mainly like a highway, but still. After that, and those videos also did mean um, a lot of people, if they text me, they say they want to see more trip videos because that's like one of the first videos that they saw, the DI trip, um, or the bribery trip videos, then yeah, just seems to be a bit of a crowd favourite. Um, but yeah, after that, came back and a couple of weeks later put the exhaust on, which honestly is probably one of the biggest mods I've done, I guess you could say. Um, just in the way that it changed the car, like completely livened up the thing. Um, that paired with the snorkel, you can hear the induction noise and also the exhaust and yeah, completely different beast to drive. Um, a lot more fun to drive as well and not to mention it did amazing with the views as well. It's still going up, almost caught up to the snorkel video and it was posted like a month or two after I'm pretty sure. Um, so yeah, it's skyrocketed as well and is doing mint for us. Next were these bad boys, the lights, retrofit, and um, before we get into it, all these lights and who doesn't, you can get them yourself from Tech Materials. Use my discount, Liam5, to save 5%, and um, yeah, get yourself some mint looking lights to liven up the rig. Oh, I forgot to mention, with the exhaust, that was about 480. I paid 380 for these, but then had to get the nightshade paint as well and pull it apart and retrofit it myself. Um, great find, I actually took three days to do with from taking the headlights out, which was a big pain, to actually putting them back in and getting all the wiring sorted. Um, but since I've put them in, I have not had to touch them. They have been mint, haven't well, been able to fault them at all usually just drive with the white halo on, I put the red demon eye on just because why not, but yeah, never had a problem with cops, never had a problem with any of the electrical or anything, um, they fogged up one time but that's because I didn't seal the back of them perfectly, but, oh well, they went back and obviously this, these front lenses aren't the best, so we need to do some, something with them eventually, I actually saw on the Ranger Group just before that if you are supposed to wet sand them down and then clear coat over the front and it brings them back so might be able to do that at some point but yeah these ones again great for the channel and great for me lots of fun and honestly just makes the rig look that much better while we're up here I'm pretty sure the next video there's like a big three weeks for the channel when I did the exhaust and then the lights and then the ball bar paint, seemed to do really well and um, gained a fair few subscribers there, so that's good. Um, yeah, ball bar paint and fender paint was next, and I will give you a close up. The fender paint is not great, and I'll even show you on this side, it started to come off. So, oh, there you go. 
So I'm thinking about either getting new white fenders or actually wrapping them white this time. But in saying that, the bull bar paint has been mint. Primer works perfectly. Paint's stuck great. It's actually pretty dirty right now. I should probably clean it. But yeah, it's been mint. And I think it looks really good. So now we're up to the last two weeks. So we did the torsion bar lift, which was obviously free. And oh, before I talk about that, bull bar and fender paint would have costed me about a hundred bucks in paint, primer, clear coat, um, drop sheet, masking tape, that sort of stuff. And I think that looks much better now. I'm loving the look of the rig now, honestly, year on. So much different. And what, a couple of days ago, just on the weekend, did the um, other arm, didn't get to do the pitman arm, unfortunately, but those two together costed me about a hundred bucks for those ones. That pretty much brings us to the end of the year. Up to date, um, obviously started a bit slow because I didn't start YouTube until what, end of July or something, and that's when everything started changing a lot on this. And even before that, I didn't get my P's until end of April, but I got this in January. So not much was done between January and April, and then same thing between April and July. So to wrap up what I spent on this, I bought it for 10 grand 700, um, and then plus everything I've done to it. I'm pretty sure, unless my calculations are wrong, that I have spent 14-ish grand total. So that's including buying the car plus doing everything to it. So I think that's not too bad because some of the ones I was looking at, which were, oh, look, they'd be similar to this, but I'd still want to change some stuff to it. We're up around the 16 grand mark. So the fact that I've got this and I've got it how I want it so far, um, fit for 14 grand is pretty good. To wrap this video up in the usual spot next to the rig with the temperature lights on. Um, yes, the rig has changed a lot in the past year um, from what it was to now, but I think the biggest thing that I've got out of owning this is the knowledge, um, not only about doing stuff on the car, wiring, installs, all that, but also about YouTube, and about forward driving as well from driving myself. And yeah, it's been great. So first year of owning a four wheel drive, cannot fault it. Could not think of what it would be like if I had a board in, is in a four wheel drive. So yeah, I think the biggest thing is learning and having fun while doing this. And that's been great for me. So moving forward, um, I've got heaps of plans in the next year. Um, some of them can't be done yet because of money, that sort of stuff, but if I can start getting nice subscribers up and start getting paid from YouTube, then it will just skyrocket. This rig will be the ultimate. Um, but yeah, heaps of plans coming, um, so yeah, stay tuned, and if you're loving the look of it now, just wait another year and it'll be even better. If you like this video, give us a like. If you have any questions about anything I've done or anything that you think I should do, chuck in the comments down below. Also, if you're watching this far, I've been using a new editor, um, new editing software, so I hope that it has been a lot better. But yeah, give us some feedback in the comments. And this will probably be the last video that I'll film on my phone because I have a GoPro coming this Friday. Right now it is Wednesday. <laughs> And by Friday, I'll have the GoPro Hero 9 Black, um, which I'll be recording everything on. So, yeah, hopefully that'll up the quality a bit with the new editor and the new GoPro. Um, but yeah, as I was saying, if you like the video, give us a like. Anything to say, chuck in the comments down below. And if you're new here, chuck a subscribe because if I can get these subscribers up, then this thing is going to be crazy. So, yeah. If you like the rig now, then subscribe and you'll be able to follow the progress. But yeah, cheers guys. Um, all the videos that I mentioned pretty much from the catch can on uh, or on my channel, so go check those out if you want to go 
have a geese at them and see how it got to where it is now. Right, cheers guys, have a good one.